The calc dim command is a more powerful, yet generally slower version of the ag command. Some of the ways that calc dim is more powerful than ag is whereas ag only does sparse dimensions with no formulas, calc dim will work on either dense dimensions or sparse dimensions, and if it finds a stored member with a formula, it'll calculate that too. Now because ag ignores members with formulas and it only works on sparse dimensions, ag is quite often faster when aggregating sparse dimensions than calc dim. You might find a case where calc dim is faster. Generally it occurs on dimensions that are at least six levels deep. So I encourage you, if you have some of those really deep dimensions, try it with the calc dim, try it with the ag, see which one benchmarks faster and use that one. Syntax is really simple. It's just calc dim and then either one dimension or multiple dimensions separated by commas. So we wanted to calculate an entire dimension. We would just say calc dim time. So in my case, time is a stored dense dimension. So I can't use the ag command, but I can say calc dim time. Now maybe I have a stored dense dimension in time and a stored sparse dimension in market, and I want to aggregate both of them at the same time. I could do a calc dim time comma market. Now it will actually go through and look for all the dense dimensions in your calc dim and it will calculate those first. And then it will go back and do the sparse dimensions. It doesn't necessarily do the dense dimensions in the order you've specified them or the sparse dimensions in the order you've specified them though. So be careful. So if I had calc dim time comma market comma product, it might actually do time, but then instead of doing market then product, it might do product then market. You can use a calc dim inside of a fix. Just fix on members from other dimensions. You can't fix on members you're going to aggregate inside the calc dim. So in my case, I'm doing sales for the great state of Texas and then calc dim on time and product.